Hello. Good evening on the 21st of uh, February 2021. And I thought, oh, I need to uh, share something because I haven't shared for a little while to um, just to mark this date. And I was thinking, oh, I've got a poem called 121 and uh, another one called Cells about the division and replication of our cells. Um, and I suppose at this uh, coronavirus time and talk of the vaccine and the um, uh, mRNA uh, vaccine, that's the first time that anything like that's been trialled. And uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Should we be meddling with cells at that level? Um, I tend to think of um, the cells almost as a replication of of God's love and the uh, DNA being the the master blueprint which the mRNA then takes the instructions from to make uh, and replicate new cells. Uh, and I tend to think of that as, uh, as like the holy structure of God the Father with uh, Jesus Christ as the messenger uh, for that love. Um, and, of course, the message needs to be clear. But, of course, Chinese whispers happen at every level and misinterpretations. And um, and sometimes that messaging goes wrong and that's when when we become ill. Um, so fascinating, isn't it? Uh, our, our bodies are, are truly wonderful. And, um, and I do believe that they are created and they're designed to, uh, to work. Uh, with love, with the fullness of love, and that uh, that that love that we all seek, um, and uh, of course, it's not quite as easy to attain um, as it seems. And uh, you know, God's true love works uh, mind, body, and creates the spirit. Um, so, if we're only working in in one of those areas, then we don't get the fullness and wholeness of the love. I thought I'd share with you this uh, this poem. There's quite a lot of scrawlings over here as I've been uh, updating and, and practicing it because uh, I think perhaps when I first wrote it, uh, I've learned a bit more since uh, since then. So that's from my book, Healing Poems for Positive Love, which is I take a look at how the seven deadly sins take away from uh, from the spirit of love, and I explore the uh, the consciousness of the gemstones cited at, uh, at Revelation 21. Um, yeah, so there's quite a lot of uh, Interesting uh, information in here. Uh, some non-fiction uh, mixed with um, with poetry. So uh, I do thank uh, thank God for the poems that I have because it wasn't really my plan to write poetry. Um, they just sort of started popping out for about 10, 12 years. <laughs> so here we go. Um, one, two, one. One or two or two to one. The magic ratio where we create something new, where infinity is endless and matter becomes energy, light of consciousness, enlightenment affecting our cells, determining health and life or sickness and death, energy or atrophy. With iron to oxygenate our cells for vitality, sulfur to cleanse and make new, our tissues for life. Calcium to tone and magnesium to relax, chromium to balance and selenium to glow. Zinc and copper help us glow and grow, more beautiful in form for life. Gold and silver to soothe the pearly gates of the irritations of life into smooth emerald rivers for life. To bathe by the trees of life, you and me by their side, filling up with positive love of joy and happiness. Like children bathing in joie de vie, sunshine for the soul, elements radiating rainbow glows, positively living for the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. It is attainable. It is the real life of positive love. Two to one or one to two. 
The magic triangle and golden rectangle, the pentagon, the hexagon, the octave and octagon, infinite life eternal, self-creating and self-renewing, endlessly round like a hole for the life-giving, for the cup of love. Communion with the Spirit, to share and unite for peace, twofold peace for the world, to live as one, one world, one vision. What a wonderful world. Love creating with Christ, love with faith. Creating knowledge of how to be or not to be. Learning righteousness for discernment. For love to prevail, for peace and friendship. For community and unity. Union and communion of two becoming one. The positive spirit, the Holy Spirit, bathing ourselves with love for life. For oneness, harmony with grace and faith, with recognition of God's love. We all know this inside our hearts. It's written inside our hearts. Love or fear, love and accept or hate and destroy, reject, annihilate, war. Only by understanding and reason can we discern accurate knowledge for love for life, for energy and vitality, empowerment for the cup of love to unite two to one, for peace and unity in everyone, for the holy grail of life. Unity and oneness of the Holy Spirit of love is perfection of life where we can glow with enlightenment and light up the world with positive love. Do not positively die, do not surely die, as stated in Genesis 2.17. Let there be light for the Holy Spirit of love. There's a little illustration that I did of this. Seven spirits of God's love discerned from uh, Revelation 2 and 3. So Jesus Christ is, uh, is coming soon. Um, yeah. <laughs> Oh, the world's looking very dark, isn't it? What to say? I'm feeling very tired now too. And uh, at what point? At what point are we going to be changed? Just as in the twinkling of an eye, when that understanding comes and we learn that God's love is not a cortisol and does not cause cortisols, and it's the cortisols which cause all the anxieties, stress, depression, illness, sickness. And things that uh, cause us to be unwell. So only God's love is healing and creates that love which abounds us with the Holy Spirit to dwell in our bodies. The temple where God's love does dwell. God bless.